The Nintendo GameCube is a hugely popular system with retro enthusiasts, and one which is now really well catered for in emulation terms. Dolphin is the best GameCube emulator available, and this also applies when it comes to the RetroArch Live Retro Core. Works really well on Windows, Android, Mac and Linux versions of RetroArch, and the Dolphin Core is what we will be using today in this guide. Here are some things you'll need to get ready before you start following the guide. First of all, install RetroArch on your system. Have at least one GameCube disk image ready to test. These are typically ISO files, but the Dolphin Core will also allow other file types too. Finally, ensure you have your controller connected to your system. The 8-bit Doe Pro 2 is an excellent controller and is my preferred choice when it comes to emulation, especially as RetroArch automatically has the correct configuration in place so you can just plug it in and be ready to play. I'll put some links to this controller in the description if you want to check it out. So first of all, we'll want to download the Dolphin Core in RetroArch. So boot up RetroArch and select Load Core and then Download a Core. Next. Scroll down the core downloader list until you get to Nintendo GameCube slash Wii Dolphin. Select this and the Dolphin core will begin to download and install. If you're using an existing installation of RetroArch, be sure to go back to the main menu, scroll down to Online Updater, then select Update Core Info Files and Update Databases. This will update all the key files and databases in RetroArch and making sure everything's up to date, minimizing any potential issues. It's also recommended that you download an additional file from the RetroArch Core Systems Files Downloader section. So go back to the main menu and select Online Updater, Core System Files Downloader and select Dolphin.zip. This will download the additional recommended files. And believe it or not, that's all there is to it. We're ready to load our first GameCube game in RetroArch. Go back to the main menu, select Load Content Next, go to where you store your GameCube games and select the game image you wish to play. Now your game will boot and will be ready to play. The icing on the cake is to get your GameCube games upscaled and looking super sharp. This is really easy to do in the RetroArch GameCube settings. Press the F1 key or the hotkey you've set up to pause emulation to access the quick menu in RetroArch. Next, scroll down the menu and select Core Options. This will then give you access to all of the Dolphin Core emulator options, including the internal resolution settings. Simply select internal resolution and then choose the resolution you require. You can also improve visuals by increasing the anti-aliasing settings too. I recommend just upping settings until you get to the maximum your display can handle or whatever your device can use and can handle before the game frame rate begins to dip. There are stacks of other options too, which are fully detailed in the RetroArch Dolphin Core Options documentation. So experiment and see what works best with your system. So as you can see, Dolphin is yet another really straightforward core to get set up in RetroArch. I hope this guide has been helpful in getting you up and running. Be sure to check out the channel and visit howtoretro.com for more RetroArch and emulation guides. Thanks for watching, see you soon.